Welcome to this stateless code video. In this video, we're going to be installing Belina Etcher, which is a cross-platform kind of lightweight program for, as it can say, says here in on the screen, flashing uh, OS images to SD cards and USB drives, kind of for the purpose of making bootable USB drives. Uh, the reason why I'm Installing this is so that I'm going to be making a future video where I install Ubuntu 24.04 and this is going to, um, Etcher is going to kind of be the uh, the recommended way to make an Ubuntu bootable USB drive kind of if um, irrespective of whether your host operating system is or origin operating system is Windows, Mac uh, or Linux. Uh, this should work for all of them uh, just to so that I don't waste your time if you're trying to do this to make a bootable Windows image um, to make a bootable Windows USB you're better off with uh, Microsoft's um, media creator which um, you can use to create uh, bootable Windows USBs um, so it's more work to do it if you do it this way but for something like uh, Ubuntu which we'll be doing in future video uh, it is handy and um, easy to get up and running with. Um, so we're going to click the download etcher button. This here takes it to the different systems here. Uh, we're installing this on an Ubuntu 22.04 system. The installers for Windows, um, I would pick the the x86 64 installer uh, or Mac, which is a, a DMG file, uh, are pretty self-explanatory to go through. Uh, so what we're going to do here, uh, if you were to click download, it would be an app image file, which um, is not my preference for maintaining and everything. So uh, it says also here looking for uh, Debian packages uh, or Red Hat packages. So I'm going to click on this. This will take me to the GitHub page for this and it gives you the example for how to do this I'm going to find the uh, the latest release here there are a bunch of if I go to releases here a bunch of pre-releases here uh, what we want to do is find the one tagged latest here which matches if you go back 18 1.18.11 this is what matches what's on the the um, value for the uh, Linux system here. So we're going to go now and we're going to click on this release. There is the 64-bit.dev, which is what we want. I'll download it. Now I'm going to fire up my terminal get into my downloads directory and then we're going to do sudo apt install dash f make sure we get our dependencies and that is our matching version So we've got the item installed. Uh, now if I hit my super key, which is going to give me the other screen, I start typing um, Belina and it will give me um, Belina Etcher. I hit enter and then it will come up and then we can uh, flash from file, flash from URL um, and um, go from there. Thanks for watching and um, be on the lookout for that install Ubuntu tutorial video that we'll, we'll be coming out with. In addition to the installation type videos, the core of what Stateless Code does is um, software engineering and coding videos. So uh, it's one thing to be able to install and run software, uh, but we want you to be able to create with it and uh, be, be able to build your own applications. We have hundreds of videos available. Uh, be sure to check them out and uh, 
hit us with a like and subscribe. Thanks. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Open source cross-platform cross program for uh, the program to create your bootable ES... You, Bootable US. I'm going to just start over. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code, and taxation is theft.